Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg, and today Uri is going to make some shamrock candies. They're going to be yellow in color, and they're going to be the flavor of Irish honey. And this is cool for St. Patrick's Day, because honey has a wonderful tradition in Ireland, even if it started after the death of St. Patrick. Once this candy is cooled enough, we'll put it in our press, and our press will emboss little shamrocks on it. And I love this set of rollers, I've never seen another set. This particular set of rollers came from a candy store called Mullane's that was based out of Cincinnati, and this is the original of a lot of our very cool rollers. Mullane's opened in 1848 and probably bought this sometime between the 1880s and 1890s, and it's kind of neat to consider that we're still making candy on a machine that is well over a hundred years old. I kind of like being part of this history. History that you can taste. The hot sugar is poured on our candy cooling table, and it's about 310 degrees when it goes on here. It's already been colored and flavored in the pot. And it's the flavor, like I said, of honey, and this is part of our annual shamrock assortment. We change the flavors every year, and this year we made the assortment in the flavors of apple cake, whiskey vanilla, Irish cream, Irish coffee, barm brack, toffee, and clover honey. It wasn't until roughly 150 years after St. Patrick died that honeybees were introduced to Ireland, but they were accepted quickly. And they became such an important part of Irish society that the first legal code in Ireland, called the Bee Judgments, or Breck Bratha, since hives moved, because bees moved, these laws governed who would own a beehive based on its current location. If you discovered it, you could get a share of the hive's future production. And it basically decided how honey would be divided if there was any question of ownership or if the bees relocated. Did the bees belong to the last landowner or the current landowner? Every farm had a couple of hives for both pollination and for honey production. And the honey became ubiquitous with Ireland. People would drink it with milk. People would make cakes out of it and sweeten their bread. So we're trying to capture this flavor with our old shamrock press. This press was made prior to 1900 and it's a beautiful image of a little shamrock and all of the flavors in this assortment are about this press. Now we made this flavor last year. Every year we changed the assortment a little and the assortment this year has a new addition to it. And that you'll find out in the next video that is linked at the end of this one. Of course, if you don't wanna wait, you can always go to our website, www.pd.net and get these candies for yourself. But this honey is one flavor in this assortment, and the other flavors are apple cake, vanilla whiskey, Irish cream, Irish coffee, barm brack, Irish foam toffee, and this honey. And you can get it all at www.pd.net in our shamrock assortment. Only for St. Patrick's Day. These machines are all connected with candy flash and all we got to do is separate them. Since these rollers are so thin, it's not easy to pick up and drop, making the drop that gives this candy the name, fruit drops. Instead, Uri is going to break them on the table and sometimes doing it this way is even more satisfying.
Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to us here on YouTube and ring the notification bell. We have lots of other videos you can find in our archive, and among them is a collection of videos of the different flavors that we've made of this St. Patrick's Day assortment. Just click on the link, and it'll take you right there. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and also now on TikTok. We also have a podcast called Lofty Pursuits that you can listen to that comes out weekly. And of course, if you're ever in Tallahassee, you can visit us at Lofty Pursuits. We make candy a lot. We don't make it every day. But if you're lucky when you come, you'll have a chance to see us do this live because we do it right out front. Why else do you think we call it public displays of confection? See you in the next video.